Hey gang, Jason here for the Love of Trackers, and so I'm doing something different here. This is going to be kind of a little bit of a janky video. I'm not going to sugarcoat it, but uh, I got the new Outback Toys catalog today. Ooh, uh, so, if you guys don't know Outback Toys, they're kind of one of the, let's call it the big time operators in uh, the farm toy world. They have a lot of stuff on their website, and they send out this really cool Christmas catalog. Now, I just want to be 100% up front here. I have no affiliation with these guys whatsoever. So... Um, I hope they don't mind me using their catalog. They shouldn't. It's free advertising, so that would be silly if they did. But, um, yeah, no no affiliation with Outback Toys at all. So, uh, I buy things from them sometimes, and they've always been great. So, there you go. Um, that's, I don't know. If Outback Toys wants to support me and endorse me in any sort of way, let me know. Ha <laughs> ha, I doubt that happens. But anyway, <laughs> so, um, so the first thing you know is you get this cool cartoon on front. Check out, uh, we've got a big big international here and the the young man is showing his dad the exact tractor we'll assume it's his dad anyway so there you go just opening up to the front page and look look at what we have here this is <laughs> this is sort of that tractor we were seeing right there on the front page so uh, 1566 with cab and duels i want one of those like i can't even tell you how much i want one of those i want one of those <laughs> I don't know. It's this is a prestige. I honestly don't know if that's in my budget. Um, I, I've just got to lay off the 16 scale toys to some extent, but man, do I want one of those? One of my favorite tractors of all time. They just look so cool. Over here, you got the uh, the gold demonstrator Wheatland 1456. Now I do have some gold demonstrator tractors. Those are always cool. And uh, you can see some of the other uh, 116 scale kind of intro editions that they've got coming out or they've they've got out I guess and then we've got the uh, National Farm Toy Museum tractor which I'll be doing a review of very soon and then 18 scale is hot right now guys like it's it's crazy hot right now in, in my opinion like um it, it's that's cool if you got room for 18 scale more power to you um let's, let's do this fold back technique here cuz this is this is just going to be super clumsy. Uh, oh, here we go. What if we uh, what if we went up? There we go. How's that? Okay. That's a, that's a nice looking tractor too. And then we've got these uh, 2020 farm shows. Uh, if you want one of these, um, head over to fortheloveoftractors.com. Actually, uh, <laughs> I've got I've got the 64 scale. I do not have any of the 132nd scale. Uh, here's a nice. This is an 856. Those are always cool. And I just realized I'm gonna have to be I'm gonna have to be a little less thorough because uh, this this video will be like a 25 minute video if I'm going at the rate I'm going. <laughs> anyway, um, you can see a lot of 132nd scale. Here's this new 380 AFS. This this combine is sweet. If I if I had the room, maybe maybe. Um, <laughs> anyway, always love the look of these internationals. I just think they're cool. Here's one thing. Oops, sorry. Bump the bump the the stand here so these precision elites so 225 up for each so uh black stripe and white stripe if anybody wants uh wants to give me a christmas present that'd be a good one uh <laughs> anyway so 225 for one of those now you know precision farm all and international precision tractors are just hot and particularly the internationals but uh, they're always high priced. They always seem to hold their value to some extent. I mean, if you go looking through uh, auctions of some internationals that have sold recently, some of the Precision Series stuff, you're going to be shocked at what those things are bringing. Anyway, so moving on. So we've just got... Uh, so the, I, I kind of want one of these as well, but they're really just the rebadge 620 for the most part, so it just doesn't make sense for me to get one. And then, of course, they're kind of a kind of a, I don't want to call them a set, but so then, of course, if I get one, I'm going to have to get the other, and so I'm just staying away from those. There's just no point in me getting those. You have to stay away. <laughs> have to know your limits. And then, again, we've got some 1-8 scale stuff, and, uh, and then we've got a couple other... Uh, boy, that's a nice-looking tractor. I, you know, these are okay, but I never was a huge fan of that style of, uh, of Case IH tractor, for whatever reason. I mean, that's just on me. But, um, all right, 1-8 scale stuff, again... Uh, Again, like super popular uh, right now. Some some nifty farm all one sixteenth stuff here, and then uh, these are if boy if these ever got on decent sale, I, I'd have to pick up a second one and customize it. I've got so many ideas I want to do to one of these, but boy at one forty nine it's just a little bit out of 
my budget for customization, unfortunately. Okay, sorry about that. Just had to turn the page, like Bob Seeger said. Wild about Stigers has a great price on those tractors, by the way. These the green version of this you're gonna pay at least double for. So uh, if you want a Steiger Panther and you know, maybe just can't swing it for the green. There you go. And if you really have to have the green, well, you could repaint that sucker right there. So, look at this beast. That's cool. Uh, that is on clearance. So, a lot of more, a lot of more, <laughs> more 116 stuff. Uh, just kind of some some standard stuff. Nothing's really jumping out and grabbing my attention there. I bet this is a nice combine. This is a nice tractor. I do have one of those in the collection somewhere. So the cool thing about Outback, Outback is they have some older stuff as well, as you can see. It's not necessarily all new. I really wish, sorry guys, I really wish these were in 164 scale. But uh, they are nice tractors. I've seen those in person. Nice tractors. I, I <laughs> They're almost getting to the price where I want to get one. <laughs> Just because they're that nice of a tractor. Ooh, that's, a, that's decent on that too. Now, so here we've got the uh, 132nd. Uh, Tigers and the and the Panthers. So those are those are pretty solid prices for those. In fact, those are getting about what you're going to be paying for the 164th version. I really want Ertl to make one of these in Prestige. Let me just do it, Ertl. Just do it. What are you waiting on? <laughs> I know Don Trout from Precision Engineering has one, but boy, they're uh, they're pricey, but you know appropriately so. That's an, that's another nice looking tractor. That 1256. I have another, like, oh, there you go, oh, 20 bucks for that. I mean, I have that whole set, but wow, that's that's solid right there. I have another little gripe for Ertl while I'm looking at a bunch of international stuff here. Why don't you bring out another 1206? Like, what is, like, it, the, the Precision 1206 is one of the most popular, one of the most expensive Precision tractors. Why don't we get another 1206? What is up with that? Anyway, there's my little rant for the day. These are, these are, that's the farm show we were talking about on the other page. Great tractors. Those look great. The new Prestige, Prestige line, it is not the authentic line by any stretch, but it is not a bad series of tractors either. I mean, let's not kid ourselves. So here's their 164 scale offerings. I really got to pick up one of these steam engines someday. I just need to see one of those. Hey, look at that. Been customizing the living daylights out of those here recently. Finally got cheap enough you can do stuff with them. I know a lot of guys don't like to customize the farm toy show models, but I don't really care. Or the uh, the farm shows or any of that stuff. It doesn't matter to me. <laughs> you know how it is. Just picked this up, actually, the other day. I'm going to have to do a review on that, too. That uh, 4890 case there. Oh, look at that. Oh, I probably shouldn't have showed you guys that. I'm going to I'm gonna have to snag a few of those. <laughs> All right. So then you kind of get into... I mean, they have a little bit of everything. They have barns. Uh, there's all sorts of animals. If you're trying to start a Hereford herd, uh, there you go. Pigs, etc., etc. That said, they got a little bit of everything. Uh, here's some of the big farm items that they carry, as well as some 150th and construction stuff. So here we go again with uh, just kind of accessories and things of that nature that might look good on your farm. A lot of 116 stuff there. So here, here is the kind of one eighth and pedal. Well, I guess these are all pedal. Um, you know, it's kind of crazy. <laughs> like looking at this 766. Okay, the the Precision Elite or whatever the new the current Precision series is that we were just looking back several pages back. It's gonna about cost you about the same as a pedal tractor. It's crazy. I don't know. I get it. I mean, I understand. But wow. All right, they even have some 134th. Why couldn't those be 132nd? Like, why do we have why do we have to have 134th? What's up with that? That's weird. Can't we just keep it to three scales? Why do we have to have 17 different scales? All right. I guess that was my second rant for the day. Huh. Anyway, so it's gonna go fast. Hey, here's like look at that. Check that out. There's lots of lots of cool books and stuff. I mean, I'm not gonna stop and go through each one of those individually, but yeah, I mean, there's all sorts of really cool books and DVDs, and, you know, little knickknacks and tchotchkes or whatever you, whatever everybody calls them. I'm going to skip through a lot of that stuff. Like, they have sweatpants, they have shirts and hats and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. They even have a Steiger hoodie, which I'm really debating on picking up, maybe. 
check this out. So here's a bunch of big farm for you kids that uh, like to play. If you're looking for, you know, if your parents looking for stuff that kids can play. Oh, man, I wish we had some of this stuff when I was a kid. Like that, how, how cool would that hopper bottom been? I mean, when I was a kid, hopper bottoms weren't very popular, but <laughs> it would have been cool. So, of course, here John Deere has their, their uh, big farm series as well. All sorts of neat stuff. Oh, I didn't even realize there was like a New Holland uh, big farm type thing there. That's cool. Didn't even realize that. I've seen several of these in person, and I tell you what, even though they're meant for a toy, they're pretty sweet. They're they're pretty neat looking tractor. Yeah, there you go. Some construction equipment, some brooder equipment, all sorts of neat. Brooder is another one of those companies that just does really cool stuff in general. Um, I could I could get into construction equipment, but I'm not going to. Uh, that's something I could enjoy though, for sure. Here we go, John Deere. I knew, I knew there was some brooder stuff. Oh, check out this, uh, check out this chrome tether. That's pretty cool. There. <laughs> and this is a pretty sweet... You know, if you missed out on the first 9620 from Ertl... Sorry, I gotta go down. If you missed out the one that's, you know, now astronomically priced, I'm gonna get you that brooder. And it's like, let's call it 95% good. Okay, I'm gonna skip past a... Come on, here's something I thought that was really cool. Check that out. This 1 16 scale 1050 Vero uh, Fint, but it's it's got like mechanics tools and the wheels off. That's that's pretty cool. That's that's pretty cool. I think. They've got even even different scales, 30 second, 64 scale, 87. Oh, I don't see any 64 scale. 16 scale, 87 scale, all sorts of barns and things. Alright, now we're gonna now we're kinda getting there. Oliver's. I gotta pick me up one of these. I, I've been waiting too long to, to grab one of those. Gotta get me one of those. That planter is very nice too. I was admiring one of those in person the other day. Speccast has just done an incredible job with sort of the, uh, the Agco muscle tractors, if you will. Just done a fantastic job. Now we've got some Ertl stuff here on this page up there, especially at the top. Um, this this planter is fantastic too. If you guys never had a chance to look at one of those, I'd like to have one of those, but you know, look, you can see that price. It's not not in the budget. I would love to see uh, some variations on that 1150. That'd be cool. And uh, if you guys. I just reviewed a 64 scale version of one of these just the other day here on the channel. All right, so kind of we've seen some of this before. That's I guess the only downside is sometimes the catalog repeats, but I, I get it. Here's some. Whew, we're up to 13 minutes, guys. I hope you don't mind. Like I mean, I feel like four of you are going to make it this far, but uh, I just thought it was cool. I don't know if you guys, uh, you know, some of you guys that were. Young enough, a lot of green light stuff in here, uh, or old enough. Remember getting the Sears or the J.C. Penney catalog when you were a kid, and how awesome that was—the Christmas catalog, like how it was just heaven. Let's check that out. Note the price on these land finishers has come down just a little bit. If you want one, <laughs> all sorts of neat 64 scale stuff there. These uh, 1 60th uh, crop dusters would probably. Pass is 164 scale. Just FYI. This big bud, uh, I got. I just did a thing on that. You guys might remember. Here's these green carts that are kind of coming out, and I mean, Speccast is sort of flooding us with green carts right now. But I would rather have too many than not enough. So good on them. And then there's their 164 scale muscle tractor series. I'm, ex I'm getting excited about this. Uh, I'm getting really excited about that. I want the duels with the front wheel assist. That's the version I want. This is going to be great, too. Alright. New Holland. New Holland just does not get enough... Ford New Holland does not get enough attention in the farm toy world. They just don't. Alright. I'm going to kind of do some skipping here a little bit. Here's the John Deere stuff. And I guess if I'm going too fast for you, you'll just have to pause <laughs> and look. 
So obviously the 164 scale John Deere stuff. There's that anniversary set that they just brought out not long ago. Cool stuff there for sure. For all you green guys. I mean, I'm a fan of the green stuff. Here's So here's a pro tip, guys. Remember, so these came out, you know, whatever, last year, something like that. And so they hit, we, retail price was going to be in this 35 to 45 range. But some of the dealers are like marking them up almost double. Because when they first came out, they were a little bit scarce. But here's what happens every time, guys. Every time. Almost. I mean, I can think of... I can think of a handful of tractors that if you didn't wait a year, you could have got cheaper. I can, I mean, I get you're taking a risk, but, you know, $85 versus $35 or, you know, $39, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It's worth the wait, guys, sometimes. Most of the time. Oh, that's a good price on those. Those are great for customizing. Anyway, there you go. I feel like these Speccast, uh pickups were a bit of a flop because of the price they're great don't get me wrong they're excellent but the price i think held them back so check this out guys two cylinder club gets a 4440 high crop this year that's pretty neat you don't see those too often 60 30 i'm gonna have to get some of those to customize i know it's 116 scale but i'm gonna have to i'd love to have one of these but i just can't justify it since i already have the the uh 8rx i just just can't justify taking up the shelf room Unfortunately. So here we go. So check this out. 570, uh, 9570 Prestige. Look, we're, we're down to 100. Those were up around 200 bucks at one time. Like I said, waiting is worth it, guys. It, it Most of the time. Now, obviously on the 620, if you wanted that one and you waited, you got you kind of got blown away there. But other than that, it's generally worth waiting. Okay, guys, there you go. The Outback Catalog. Should have moved my Gatorade bottles. Don't. Oh, well. We're working down here. This is the workshop, so uh, we get thirsty. <laughs> All right, guys. There it is. Hope you liked it. Hope it wasn't too boring. I guess if it was, you probably didn't make it this far. <laughs> Have yourselves a great day, as always. Merry Christmas. It's only October, but Christmas is coming. Merry Christmas. Christmas is your thing. Hope your December 25th is awesome. <laughs> Have yourselves a great day. Happy tractor hunting, guys.